Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to create a power punch and at the same time we are going to take a look at adding velocities to our entities so to get started as you can see you need to create a new plugin I've called it power punch and I'm registering the events to this class you can add it to another class as well but just to keep things simple because this is a really simple thing for now I will expand on it later probably uh, I'm just gonna keep it in the main class so of course when we want to do an event handler we need to annotate it as an event handler and then we do public void on player and then uh, I'm gonna make it a right click because the challenge is to make it a left click so interact entity player interact entity event e and within that event what we want to do is just for simplicity's sake I want to take the entity and equals e dot get right clicked and um, import or the bucketed entity and what I want to do with entity I will do it in a second because first we need to get a vector and a vector with a bucket is a vector 3 so a 3d vector and it means uh, a displacement in the x direction the y direction and the z direction so let me explain uh, a vector consists out of three numbers let's just quote this an x a y and a z or now this might not be readable an x a y and a z and the x uh, yeah shows the displacement on the x axis the y on the y axis z on the z axis and to actually move a character like 2 uh, on x 2 on y and 2 on z the vector will become 2 2 2 and there's a lot of uh, other stuff you can do with these vectors because you can also calculate the length etc etc I might go into the into that in the future if you liked me to do so so a vector over here I'm just gonna call it vector equals and then what we want to do is if you punch the player or the other entity will fly in the same direction as you're looking right so what we want to do is e dot get player dot get location and then we can get a direction as you can see over here it's also a vector so we get the vector over there and then import orthobucket dot vector and not the java i don't know if the java is also working but the bucket one is the preferred over here so vector but that might be a little weak because that is a uh, a small vector so we're gonna have to multiply it but you cannot do vector times five that will return an error so we will do uh, the new vector so vector equals the old vector and as you can see if I do multiply it by five it will return an error because it's two 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 and you can't just multiply two 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 uh, times five there are two times of different things so just there's a multiply method over here and as you can see I can now just add a five over there and the last thing we want to do is actually set the entity and we want to set velocity and then the vector is going to be vector now this is gonna uh, make the thing uh, yeah just punched but if you want it to fly in the direction you uh, punched it so if you want to uh, not be affected by gravity the entity you can just do and dot set gravity to false but in our case we're not doing that and if you do that you can also make it go across a straight line I will go into that for, uh, in the future not for now because this is it for now it's really easy uh, to make a power punch and let's go take a look at this at the server and today's challenge is of course make it left click so not right click and you need to use another event I'm not gonna tell you which one let's go and take a look at this at the server so inside Minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created and as you can see I will spawn in an enderman because it's really tall and then I can just point up really high in the sky and as you can see, if I right click it, it will launch really far. If you do not like the uh, power of your punch, you can just uh, decrease the multiplier or even remove the multiplier if that is what you want. So let's do it one more time. I launch it up in the sky. You can also launch him down, but 
that will not be as effective. It will ki won't kill him. So I'm just going to kill him to keep my server clean. And that's it for today's episode. Challenge, make it left click. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you've got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to our Discord channel, which has over 50 people to help. Or you can help them as well, if you'd like to. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.